What I want to share with you is what I call third stage living. And um, rather than just share it with you and tell you about it, I want to practice it in this moment. And third stage living is really um, having a sense of connection with oneself, having a connection with others, and then having a connection with all of life, whatever that means to you, the infinite. Most of uh, people in the world, you know, in terms of uh, where we are in consciousness is still in what I call first stage living. And first stage living is, is really getting up each day and really uh, going about each day of um, what's in it for me. It's a preoccupation or an overoccupation of self in an unhealthy way. You see, one can be in a first stage uh, or a stage one uh, moment and be in a healthy stage one moment. Healthy stage one moment is having a sense of oneself, okay, but not necessarily self-centered. It's having a sense of oneself without necessarily wanting anything for oneself. An unhealthy stage one is a constant preoccupation of what's in it for me. And so we live in that world that's very preoccupied with what's in it for me. A highly functional self is one that can, highly functional stage one is one who is highly functional in life. Uh, one could say is functional in the areas of relationship and work and um, communicating and relating with others. Okay. So one is functional. <clears throat> doesn't mean the person's actually fulfilled or happy, but their life is functioning in, in, in a way. In fact, most personal growth and or therapies really live within what I call stage one. It's about getting, uh, helping another get their life cleaned up in such a way that they can function in life. Okay. The challenge with that is you can only go so far with that functionality or acquiring the life skills because it's still, the focus is all about me. Um, at this stage of what I call stage one, the, the preoccupation is with what do I need, taking care of boundaries, communicating my truth, being honest with others. It's very stage, what I call stage one. As we move to stage two, we actually need to let go of me. I need to let go of my number one or my priority is my own personal needs which is then accompanied by boundaries okay, to protect myself. <clears throat> in fact, people that are very, what I call, stuck in stage one often have a difficult time in relationship because they're so preoccupied with themselves. They have a hard time putting their attention onto another and letting go of themselves and merging into full and deep contact with another. <clears throat>